All right, Seminary Battleship is a great little uh, activity to do with your students. Um, if you see a lesson plan that has a lot of questions, a lot of answers, and it's just like one question after another, it's a great way to do a little activity. It gets the kids pretty involved. Best part about it is they think that they just play the game the whole time, when really what the game was is they read the scriptures and answered questions. But it was done in a fun way and a little bit different. Um, I do it maybe once a semester or once a year with the students. Just uh, I don't use it very often, but it's a fun one. And so let me show you how it is done. Um, first off, the, there will be a little grid like this that you'll print off. Let me see if I can make that a little smaller. There we go. Um, and so every student will have one of these, and I will attach this in the Canvas file for those of you that are seeing it that way. And so they've got to have a grid eight spaces down and all the way over to H, um, and then they are going to have, um, they're going to be able to place uh, ships on this. Let me get to the beginning. There we go. But they can only place the ships on the boards if they answer the questions right and if they um, do the activity. And so as you're going through the lesson, they're going to earn battleships and cruisers and destroyers and submarines and patrol boats. And so the more ships they earn, the greater possibility or, or the bigger fleet they will have. At the end of the lesson, you're going to bombard some random uh, places on the grid. And if you hit their ship, it's destroyed. And so, um, again, the PowerPoint will be on the Canvas site so you can see that too and you can download that. I'm going to walk through it though so you can see how the game is, is played. Um, and so the instructions... Um, it says, co collect ships by correctly answering questions or completing activities from the scripture block. If you have paper scriptures, please answer the questions in your study journal or on a piece of paper. If you have electronic scriptures, please answer the questions as a note next to the verses the questions refer to. And I tell them that. I'm saying, if you want credit, you have to write it down somewhere. So it's got to be in your electronic scriptures or on a piece of paper somewhere. Um, they're going to place ships on your battleship grid. Each ship only occupies one space on the grid. So it's not like regular battleship where like the battleship takes up five spots. In this game, one ship takes up one grid space. At the end of the day, uh, try to survive the instructor's bombardment and be the last student floating and then have fun. Okay, so... Um, so here's you say, okay, so this one's for some patrol boats. You're going to say read Exodus 16, 1 through 3, and then answer these questions. And they get one patrol boat for each question they answer. And so I let them just go into the scriptures. Let them read Exodus 1, 2, 3. And there's the three questions. What problems did Israel face in the wilderness? Who did the children of Israel murmur against? Even though the children of Israel even thought. Whoops, let me change that. There we go. Even though the children of Israel had just been delivered from bondage. Why did they wish they had died back in Egypt? And so you'll give them just maybe a little bit of time to read Exodus and to mark in their scriptures where they see those answers and, and to you know write the answer. Um, and then on the grid that they have, they would just write patrol boat. You know, let's say they, they want to write it right uh, here. So patrol boat, that's really hard to see. But anyway, they're, they're going to be writing it down and um, and so maybe they, let's see if we can make that a little bit easier, you know, so they, they've answered three questions, patrol boat and patrol boat. Uh, a little easier to see. All right. So then you'd go on to the next question right here. Um, You'd have them read four through five, read these verses. This, these are again for patrol boats. Then answer these questions. You get one patrol boat for each question you answered. And so give them a minute to answer those questions. And again, once they're done at um, writing it down and answering the question, talk to the students. You know, hey, John, what uh, did you get for the specific instructions? Great. Um, Jill, what, you know, what did you get for the second one? According to verse three, you know, in what ways might gathering only a limited amount of bread each day have been a test for the children of Israel? And so you get their answers, and so you've got a conversation and a discussion that's going. But when they're done with the discussion, you're like, all right, if you got both of those, go ahead and mark your patrol boats. And so again, they're like, patrol boat 
and patrol boat. And they can mark it wherever they like. That's not a, a big deal at all. <coughs> um, you know, right here, verse 4 has multiple truths about God and principles for us to follow. I will give you one minute to come up with these truths or principles from that verse, up to a total of three. After one minute for each truth or principle you share with the class, you will earn an additional patrol boat. And so now give them one minute to read that one verse, um, and they'll see things like, if I keep the commandments, the Lord will bless me. They'll see things like, the Lord knows what I need. They'll see things, hopefully they'll see things like, the Lord will provide for me if I'm faithful. There's a lot of different truths and principles in that one verse. And so after a minute, you say, okay, who wants to share for a patrol boat? And hopefully you've got a lot of hands going up. You could even say, if you have a principle and somebody else shared it a different way, as long as you show me that you have it written down, I can still give you a, a patrol boat for that. And so even though uh, one person might have said an answer and it was three other people and they, you know, they put their hand down, let them show you the truth that they wrote and give them the, the points for that. Okay. Uh, this one's just for fun. I just say drop down and give me 10 push-ups. And if they give me 10 push-ups, they'll get three more patrol boats on their grid. And so everybody just gets down. They do 10 push-ups. Again, that's just for fun. Uh, gets everybody out of their seats, moving around. And remember, as they're doing these things, um, they are writing down, you know, if they've got patrol boats, where those might be, where they want to put them. Now, this one's for the destroyer. So usually the destroyers are a little bit bigger than just the short little answers that we did. And so, you know, read Exodus 16, 6 through 8. While reading, look for what Moses and Aaron told the Israelites concerning murmuring. And then answer the following four questions during this song. And then to get the song, you can either just hit next or you can just come over here and click on the song. Um, and it gives them a little bit of time just to, to answer these verses. Again, they can answer them in the scriptures. They've got to be writing next to these verses. Uh, after the song's done, just like you normally would do, ask people, hey, what'd you write? What'd you get for number two? That's a great thing. What, what about you? What, what about number three? And, and just have that discussion with them. Uh, the next one is for just some patrol boats because it's an easy one. Exodus 16, 9 through 13. We see that even though the children of Israel had murmured, the Lord sent quail into the camp of the Israelites during the evening so they could have meat also to eat. Answer the following two questions. So they don't even have to read 9 through 13. It just wants you to summarize it like that. So then it says, answer the following two questions. You will get another patrol boat for each one you answered correctly. What truth does this teach us about God? So they might come up with the idea that uh, even though people sometimes rebel or murmur, that he still loves them, he still prepares for them, he hears our prayers, he knows what tr what troubles us, he knows the things that, that hurt us and, and that we want to murmur against. There's a lot of truths there that it can teach about God. And then the following, which of the following picture is a quell? It is A, if you don't know, B is a grouse, C is a pheasant, and D is a dove. Um, and just kind of an interesting note of all of those birds that can fly, quail usually don't fly when they're chased. They run. Um, in Utah, I haven't seen them here in Texas, but in Utah, quail are neighborhood, neighborhood birds. You'll, you'll see like a mom and a dad quail and eight little baby quail, and they'll be running all over the neighborhoods and the subdivisions um, and so they're, they're easy to chase and you can catch. Usually people don't in the neighborhoods. But for the Israelites, uh, quail is something they could chase and catch. If it was any one of those other birds, as soon as the Israelites took a step towards them, those birds are going to fly away and they'll be gone. And so it's just kind of interesting that quail, that's what he sends and, and quail don't fly as much. Okay. Um, submarine, again, they've got uh, read this during the two minutes and once the two or once the song is over they'll have two minutes to answer the next five questions remember they've got to be writing it down somewhere um, and then when it's done after those two minutes and they've written down those questions ask them hey what did you write what uh, what did you get for this one okay what did you get for that one so again it's the conversation it's the discussion that you would normally have the trick is they're writing it down first for a submarine okay um, the next two use a, uh, a video um, called Daily Bread. 
by Elder Christofferson. And so this one right here is just the first minute of the video. And if they answer that, if they answer these questions, they get their aircraft carrier. And if they answer this one, this is the last half of the video. Here's two more questions and they get uh, their cruiser. So again, if, if they've answered some of the three things, you know, aircraft carrier, uh, cruiser, uh, they answered more patrol boats. I think there was a submarine that, uh, that we might have given them. And so they're just filling out their, their uh, grid. More patrol boats, right? For they'll get a patrol boat for each one that they answered. I'm going to go through some of these fast because I think you can see it how it's it's done now. Uh, the battleship. So read Exodus seven one through seven and answer the following questions next to the corresponding verses. There's a song here. I don't know if the song's long enough for them to read um, and to answer all of those. So you can just kind of play that by ear. But underline the verse that shows an additional hardship. Uh, let me fix that grammar there, the children of Israel encountered. There we go. Uh, given the Israelites experience with the manna and the quail, in what other way do you think the Israelites could have responded to this trial? And then just tell them as a requirement to gather manna can symbolize the Lord, you know, and then here's two more. And then here's the, this is where you'd want to do most of your talking because here's where it's focusing on the Savior. How is Jesus Christ like a rock? How is he like bread? What does Jesus Christ provide that is like living water? What do these symbols teach us about the Savior? What principles do you think the children of Israel could have learned about the Savior from their experiences with manna and water? Um, if I was going through this and I realized I only had a little bit of time left and I was up here, for example, on the submarine, I would skip the aircraft carrier and the cruiser. I would skip these patrol boats. I would make sure to come to the battleship and make sure you have plenty of time to talk about the Savior. And then if the conversation goes short and you've got some extra time, you can go back and hit one of these other ones. But please make sure to get to the Savior as you're talking about these, uh, these verses. Um, when there's maybe five minutes left of class, I say, okay, add three more patrol boats to your grid and be prepared for battle. So they'll add three more patrol boats, and then you just start clicking through these. The first one is C4 because it's explosive. Okay, and so they would just cross out C4. Okay, nothing was there. Um, let me make this a little. Whoop, let me try that again. Okay, the next one would be A1. So if they had A1, they would cross that one out. They'd have to like put an X through it or lines or, you know, just, just cross it out. Um, and then you just go through and bomb random spots, right? Just go through all of these. If you want to go through all of them, if you want to stop somewhere, that's fine. But again, as, as you're shooting and hitting squares, they're crossing out if they've got a boat there. And then at the very, very end, one point for every remaining patrol boat, two, bo two points if your destroyer remains, three points if your submarine remains, four points if your cruiser remains, five points if your aircraft carrier remains, and six points if your battleship remains. Uh, they add it up. What do they win? That's totally up to you. If you want to give them an air high five, bragging points, king for a day, get to pick the closing prayer, uh, sucker, candy. I mean, that that's totally up to you. Um, but as they leave, they're like, oh, we played a fun game today. It was Battleship. But hopefully what they remember, too, is they were in the scriptures all day. They were reading. They were identifying truths and principles, answering questions to see the story. And hopefully they could see how Jesus Christ is in that story, that he is the rock, that um, out of him that gives the, the water, the living water is the gospel. And just as the Israelites uh, received that living water which which healed them and nourished them. The gospel of Jesus Christ that comes from him heals us and nourishes us. Um, hopefully they can see those those relations and those uh, symbolisms and they can see that they need to be gathering spiritual manna every day if they want to survive in such a world that God has placed us in today. All right, so there is seminary battleship one thing that you will notice um, if you look at the lesson plan, all of these questions that I had here came directly from the manual. 
And so it's not like I had to rethink of any questions or, or try to, it was just I took what was in the manual and I put it and packaged it as a game of, of Battleship. So give it a shot. Let me know how it goes for your students and uh, we'll see you next week.